But firstly, Russia and the rest are not enemies. They are potential partners in quite a few areas of interest. Germany should take a leading role in promoting common understanding between the EU, the US, and finally Russia, using its strong ties with Russia. Secondly, recent events in the Arab world show once more that authoritarian leadership cannot guarantee political stability. Russia may face different problems than states in the Arab world, but the lack of democratic accountability and the widespread corruption, to name only these two examples, cannot go on forever. Therefore, the West should thirdly follow its core values when engaging with Russia. Self-denial will not result in a fruitful partnership. Support of civil exchange between both sides, make travel visa-free, give open-minded people a chance to discuss their issues. A forum like this with uh, Russian uh, members would be a great idea, for example. Uh, we should also offer technical assistance in public health, prison reform, environmental protection, to address everyday problems of the Russian people. There is a risk, of course, that the beneficial effects of this assistance will be solely claimed by the current Russian leadership. Nevertheless, uh, we should make this offer before future governments are simply overwhelmed by the size of Russia's problems. Fostering Russian-Western relations will require support from all Western partners. To secure cooperation from Eastern NATO members, for example, NATO has to visibly guarantee their security to overcome their fears of Russia that are simply existing. Contingency plans, maneuvers and integrated defense programs will allow Eastern NATO members to once again trust into NATO's promise of mutual assistance and defense. A common approach to missile defense against Rouge nuclear powers, disaster relief, airspace policing and destabilization of Afghanistan are opportunities for cooperation between the West and Russia. In all this, there must be no ambiguity about the West's intention and capabilities. Transparency is needed. Trade between both sides should be liberalized to diversify from energy deliveries from Russia to manufactured goods, actually. Russia's way into the VWTO should be seen as a great chance to this end. Increased cooperation in research and development will help Russia to modernize its economy while giving the West access to Russia's intellectual capital. A modern economy in Russia will only emerge and last if its government adheres to the rule of law. <coughs> Freedom of speech, strong property rights and democratic accountability are essential to Russia's integration into world markets and fruitful relations with the West and the rest of the world.